Okay, now we're recording on everything. You guys ready? Absolutely, absolutely. All right. All right, welcome back to Urban X TV, everyone. Um, I'm Malcolm. I'm back here with the most requested himself, DJ The Money Coach, and Melvin Hobson. Thank you guys for joining me today. Oh, you're very Thank welcome. Thank you. Well, that's, that's, so, a hum- that's a humbling introduction. Most yeah, requested. Yeah, most, most requested. Oh, like, um, a lot of people, after the first webinar we did over the summer, a lot of people were clamoring for another one. And we promised the people that we would give them another one. We just had some things on our end. We had to... Uh, get straight before we do another webinar. Um, and it has nothing to do with you know, uh, DJ, it had anything to do uh, with us actually. But we are back and we have we are going to deliver on our promise to give you guys another uh webinar on October 30th, that is next week actually. So you want to got you guys have to get on this real soon because we have a lot of heat we want to bring you. So I'll actually open the floor to DJ. You got it. Yeah, man, you're absolutely correct. I mean, uh, we couldn't have done another webinar beforehand because we've been so extremely busy with the Urban Xers that we've been working with for the past three months on a month-to-month basis that uh, this is actually the best the best window, to be honest with you. So <laughs> timing and uh, serving the people is uh, the best thing. So I'll turn it over to Melvin because he can only be on the uh, call for a quick minute. So uh, Melvin, why don't you, uh, you know, give us a rundown of, you know, what's been going on. Yeah, guys, on. It's just want to thank you very much. Stuff. Uh, you know, we're working with people from everywhere, from uh, Louisiana to uh, Georgia, uh, South Carolina, New York, obviously, New Jersey. Uh, so very busy. And thank you very much to the Urban X uh, family out there for bringing us back on. Definitely, uh, we've been extremely busy uh, working with folks, everything from uh, just uh, protecting the family to looking at investing options to grow their money, starting their own business. So. Those are things that I've been working with people for for the past 15 years. More than happy to help and uh, give the advice that I do give uh, to them. Each case is separate and different, and I love that. Uh, and I love helping our people. Uh, I love helping people, generally speaking, to do better, uh, to find a way to get past the J-O-B, just over broke, uh, to have a pom-pom lifestyle, plenty of money and peace of mind. Absolutely. Go ahead. Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, uh, man, dude, uh, we've had overwhelming success uh, from the uh, webinar. I mean, we had over 80 people to, you know, participate in the one webinar and the B webinar, which was actually a continuum of the first webinar due to the, uh, you know, te- technical difficulties that we had. And we also have worked, uh, like Melvin said, I mean, we, we work with people in Canada, Virginia, um, like you said, South Carolina, uh, man, Maryland. Uh, Georgia, uh, man. If I'm forgetting some people out there, I apologize. I mean, there's so many people. I mean, actually, we're talking Illinois, about definitely. Yep. Newark, Missouri. Yep. Wow. And we, so that that just yep. shows so how we've been working with some people. diverse the audience is, and how how much of the uh, I guess I would say East Coast, but it's more than just East Coast that uh, you're reaching, uh, and that's fabulous. Yeah, it's, it's equally a spread across the uh, the country, to be honest with you. It's not, uh, I thought it was going to be heavy on New York, but it's really uh, pretty equally balanced across the country. Whereas every time uh, I speak to uh, to you, DJ, uh, you, you, you like just got off the phone with uh, somebody who was who was a subscriber of Urban X, or you just got off the, you just finished uh, talking with somebody who uh, was an attendee at that, uh, of the webinar, so... Um, for people who are watching, I want you to understand that uh, the webinar happened. This was August that the webinar happened. Yeah, August, August eighth. Yeah. It's been three. August. It's been three months, I think. It's been three months. It's been about three months. Yeah. September, it's been October. Three months, yeah. And people are still uh, working with you guys, and you're still giving all of your your, your expertise and your effort to these people. So I want you, uh, the people who are watching this right now. I want you guys to see the <laughs> and understand the value. You know what I'm saying? And for for the people who were on the edge, who missed the first one, who even missed uh, the link to the 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 who to the recording of the webinar, this is your chance to get you know a live look at what went on and a live look at how I can help you. Oh, well, Malcolm, I know I don't have a whole lot of time. Actually, yeah. I had me with a, a client uh, in ten minutes. So from uh, the urban you know, X community. I, 
you know, yeah, from the Urban X community. Exactly you know, about the work I, with another client from the Urban X community. <laughs> yeah, I mean, because of my over 15 years of HR experience, having gotten degrees in HR and worked in corporate America, people who are looking to start a small business, they have a lot of questions they want to ask about how to get started, what to do, what not to do. For those individuals who are looking at changing jobs, they want to talk to me because as a financial advisor uh, with a Series 7, 65, 63, licenses allow me to give advice. Uh, they want to understand how do I start my business, uh, how much should I start with my business, or how do I invest? Uh, should I do a Roth? Should I do uh, some other uh, type of service? And they just don't know where to go. So it's a great way for someone who's just trying to uh, transition from, <clears throat> say, a job to being an entrepreneur that they can get some advice and get some direction. You know, DJ gives great information and education, but after you get that information and education, you're ready to apply it. You're ready to start and make something happen. So that's where I come in to help you uh, get started. Whether it's, <clears throat> you know, trying to figure out what you want to do, leave your family uh, in a state or create your legacy. Uh, all those things I, I cover with the clients and they've seen a lot of uh, return on that, all those conversations. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, I mean, another thing, back on that, uh, People who are on the fence webinars, the important part is, I mean, out of those 80 plus people that uh, came through those first uh, two uh, webinars, with just one webinar and of itself, we're working with uh, 25 people uh, concurrently since August 8th. I mean, our backlog is so overwhelmed that literally I had to reschedule with a couple of people just because of family events that I had future, future, you know, in the future on my my uh, schedule for my, my children and sporting events where... We, you know, we had to figure out ways to accommodate them uh, because they, they needed uh, more help than we really anticipated. And, and, and the spectrum is broad. I mean, we work with people as young as like 22 years of age and worked with people as old as like 55 years of age and super sharp, in tune, focus on getting their you know, plan right. And the, the thing that amazes me is that even though some of these people have been informed and educated about money, they really still don't understand how these benefits and vehicles work when they have accumulated assets or getting started because it's just indicative of how the corporate structure is. They give you a package on Thursday, you gotta have it all signed and back to me by Monday. And mm -hmm. as a business person, you're not really looking through them documents very diligently because if you did, you would find out that you're overspending for certain benefits that you don't have to. And what we were able to do right off the jump, man, we had to save people 35, 50% on their home, auto, life, policies right off the jump. I mean, literally going online, taking them to a website, having Melvin online and saying, look, here's the dollar cost per average, the cost per thousand for these policies. These are how they work. Matter of fact, you can take a you know driver's course online and immediately on your auto get a 10% discount. You would think that the people that were working with would share this information with them because for me, I look at it as if my professional shares that information with me, that makes me more emboldened to that person that I would right. want to do more business with them. It's not the opposite where you tell me some inside secret to save me some money, then I'm going to go somewhere else. I'm going to be like, hey, let me give you more of my business and let me refer more people to you. Right. And that's yep. been the overwhelming part. But then we've done some things with people where we've made these moves. And I'm going to tell you, man, collectively, just on the 35 to 50% savings that we've had with these 25 people on the regular month to month membership that they, you know, enrolled in Malcolm, I added up the numbers. And when you slide out, if, if just one person with the average uh, insurance and home and auto policy was about two to $300 a month, we cut on average like 35% and just do the numbers at 50%. That's a hundred dollars savings times 25. That's $2,500 a month savings for the whole urban X community but that's $30,000 a year. And the average person that we spoke to, the oldest, like I said, was 55. They still got 20 years to retire. Right. That's $600,000 in real quantifiable dollars that turn over to Melvin. And Melvin is able to put those in the financial vehicles for them. You want, you want to talk about that a little bit, Melvin? <clears throat> well, I just want to say real quick. When I say fire, financial independent, retiring early. That's what I'm looking for. And that's what I'm looking to bring. You know, to all those individuals out there, you know, whether they're just getting started with investing, whether they've been <laughs> investing in, in some of those other things where they're just dripping into some 
some categories. I'm looking for any way possible to save you money and help you make money in record time. You know, I can't control the market, but I can help you control your spending and how you invest. Yep. And, and basically just taking money from overspending on products and services that they need and transferring it to more products and services that they can get more bang for their buck. So we're not taking yes. money out of people's pocket. We're actually increasing the value of the money that they're being overcharged for that they didn't know they were being overcharged for. So that's Malcolm, a big Malcolm, problem, obviously. Yeah. The biggest challenge people have, Malcolm, is they think that they're working, but they don't have any money because they're living paycheck to paycheck. Probably close to 95% of America is living paycheck to paycheck. So right. when we redirect your spending, all of a sudden we create pockets of money where you can invest or you can do things to really help your family make it to the next level. People don't realize that. They don't they don't see it until they see it. Right, exactly. And when they when they see those numbers, we put them yeah. side by side with their existing numbers, it's almost shocked to their system like, oh my goodness, you, you got to be kidding me. And then I always tell them, I say, hey, be grateful that you had the vehicles in place because if something would have happened to you, your family was sure. covered. Now be grateful that you came to this intersection of life that you were brought to by Urban X, you know, community. And then Urban X had some vehicles and resources to make your life better. That's the only way to look at it. That's the positive way is the glass is half full and not half empty because we had some, you know, emotional sit downs with like five or six people were like, oh, my goodness, I can't yes. believe I'm over. Yes. And, and you're like, hey, don't worry about it. Guess what? If something happened to you. Your children were covered. Your children's children's covered. Now that we have the interview, we got a Ferrari for you at a Chevrolet price. Thanks to Malcolm and the Black Dot. Why don't we just hop <laughs> on in this Ferrari and keep it moving? So that's that's Malcolm, really what's transpired. Guys, I, I really got to go. So I really look forward to it. I said that wherever you're at, make sure you, you get to the webinar. You check it out. Um, I look forward to working with you uh, and those folks who, who come on out from Urban X. Um, this is Melvin. But... I got to go. Uh, DJ, we'll be talking soon. Give my information. I know you all have it, and I'll talk to you all soon, okay? Appreciate right. it, Melvin. Appreciate taking time. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Bye, guys. Yeah, so, I mean, if, if, you, if you look at it across the landscape, and you have people that have a story that hasn't been told, and what I'm finding out, these are universal experiences, Malcolm. Right. That one person right. figures out that, hey, you know what? There's other people. And I always say, by the fact that Melvin and I have sat down with a combined 15,000 people, you know, 15,000 people. And that sounds like a lot of people, but we've been doing this since 2002. So, you know, that's, you know, right. I mean, that's 17, 18 years. So that's really not a lot of people per year. But having sat down with that many people, it's just different places and different faces, but the people hold the same similarities and characters of, you know, principles of what people look like. So there's single people, there's married people, there's married people without children, there's married people with children, there's married people who have parents who have to be taken care of. So we've seen it all. So we're basically giving these Urban X uh, family members our experience more so than the products and the services, if that right. makes sense. Right. And then we have an experience how ones work right and ones that are not at the right time and we're able to change that you know pattern for them and then understand that one thing that i do with all the urban Xers, which a lot of them find to be kind of tedious is that i have them send us budget sheets every week mm. you know and they start to see oh my goodness i'm spending a hundred dollars a week on lunch i didn't realize i was spending that much and then right. they realize the next week hey DJ, I spent $50 on the same lunch for the week, which I could have had going in this direction. But just to be able to identify it, put it under the microscope, and look at it yourself, it's compelling. And it's almost like you have an epiphany. Right. And then you all this other you know, income coming in, and you're like, oh, okay, man, that makes sense. And then when you look at doing their retirement and their debt freedom date, you basically can do it real simple and say, hey, you know what? You make $1,000 a month. That's $12,000 a year. You want to retire, you know, at this same lifestyle because of that thousand dollars giving you a lifestyle you're comfortable with. Okay, you know, that's twelve thousand times twenty years. Okay, man, that's you know two hundred and twenty thousand dollars. 
So you can get to that number or you can get to the passive income and you can retire sooner than you really believe you can retire. And then you can set them up with their college planning at the same time. So what we've had is amazing, you know, success stories. I, I want to want to share with the people because what we're going to do is what, what you guys are asking. Can you add a little more flavor and some more, you know, high level stuff to this next webinar? And, and, and Melvin and I sat down, we talked about it. And even our accountant, Paul, talked about and Lisa, our, our attorney that does trademarks. She said, you know, what? once you give them a taste of what you guys actually do in your circle, when, when you're sitting down and you're getting advice from your you know, team of experts. I said, OK, yeah, I said, we, we can do that. I said, so we're going to give them the basis of the family finance one on one program. And then we're going to bring into to the, to the fold for them. We're going to bring in about a third of what we call God Assets, Three Steps to Success, Malcolm, because this right here is where everybody wants to get to. Right. But before you get there, you actually, and before I, I, I jump to that, first, first thing we're going to do for everybody is we're going to start them out, give them a basic foundation. If, it, if it's a stool, it's three legs, right? So okay. we got to put the first one in to get them right. a, a solid foundation and understanding what financial education is and of itself knowing what the products, the services, the vehicles that you should be in at your day, your age, your time, your income, your place. Because like Melvin said, everyone's different. And we, we have a, a model that we create financial independence one solution at a time. So once we go through this upcoming webinar, October 30th, a third of the webinar starting out is going to be about the basics. We're going to explain to them the basics of where they are. Once we get them to understand that, just like going to elementary school, we're going to say, hey, now that you understand the grasp of how the Financial Family 101 program works, let's introduce you to what's called working and winning. Working and winning is basically you navigating your life in corporate America. So how the HR department relates to Malcolm. Got it. How the HR department should serve Malcolm in his benefit plan, his open enrollment plan how they should not rush Malcolm when they give Malcolm his benefit package on Thursday and trying to force him to get it back to him on Monday. So he can be set down one-on-one, -on -one, explained, and not be intimidated not to ask the right questions because, you know, the plans change every year. You know, the premiums go up, uh, the, the, the co-pays go up, but the HR director normally passes the buck on that. But that's what they're paid for. That's what they're supposed to do. Here's the fortunate thing for the Urban X community. Like, Melvin said he's got 15 years as an HR top tier professional. He has what's called an SPHR certification, which is the highest certification you can have as an HR administrator. So he's able to sit down with our people, show them how they should answer questions, get information that should be accountable and compliance under RISA rules, okay, with right. their corporation. After they go through the working and winning platform, that's the second, you know, uh, uh, what you call the stool to the, to the table. And then you have the third one. You say, you know what? I got this stuff in place. I understand what's going. I now believe I can make that transition to entrepreneurship or buy into small business, you know, buy myself a franchise, you know, take on a partnership in another company. And then that's when you're going to come up in the next third of this webinar, which is going to be more comprehensive, will be the three steps to success. And the first thing we do, Malcolm, is just like you and I talked when we sat down with you. Hey, let's look at the proper entity structure. It ain't always an LLC that's the proper right. structure for you because if you really understand the legality of an LLC, that's for members. That means you're taking on more than one owner, be it a family member, a partner, whatever. It's not just a liability protection. It's for multiple you know, people running an enterprise. So an LLC may not be the appropriate vehicle for you, but guess what? It's the you know, reactionary choice that people make because they hear everybody got an LLC and they tell them, hey, man, it's the best liability protection. But if you're just a one man operation and you're not going to have investors and you're going to run it solely yourself, an LLC may not be the vehicle for you because there's other vehicles like C corporations give you same liability protection. I mean, the C corporation itself goes back to the Magna Carta. Mm. You know, and, and by going back to that, guess what? Precedent in, in the law in the court of law, it's going to trump things that the LLC can't because the LLC has only been around for about four decades. Wow, so okay. you never want to have a precedent, maybe four or five max, but you don't want to have a new situation come up in your corporation and you can't have a case study 
or track record that the judge can make a determination against you or for you. So that may be a corporation situation. Or you may come in a situation where you are professionals like engineers, doctors, and lawyers. You may need a limited partner entity. Right. Or what they call a professional corporation, a PC. So people need to understand it. So we break it down in the three steps of success and we say, what's the proper corporate structure? And here's the advantage that we've been doing this collectively for over 85 years with our group is that we have seen every corporation under the sun, limited partnerships, general partnerships, LLCs, all of that. And we know which one is appropriate for you. And if we don't, we can always fall back on our corporate attorneys, our corporate accountants, because they do taxes and legal, you know, uh, business for businesses that are multinational companies. And then they specialize in small corporations. And then they also specialize in entrepreneurs making transition because our attorney, like Lisa Shebar, her dad was a serial entrepreneur. Mm. And so she saw him have success, fail, have success, fail, get frustrated. And it made her have a drive to become an attorney and better yet, a trademark and patent attorney. So that expertise lends itself to the urban X community. So you, once you open that up, now you say, okay, I have this right corporate structure. It's creating success. Next thing I want to do is I want to leverage the tax laws. What's the maximum revenue I can get and pay the least amount of taxes to get the best NOI? That's why Warren Buffett always brags about, hey, I'm in a lower tax bracket than my secretary. He's worth $70 billion, but he's playing, paying a flat 10, 15% tax. When his secretary is making over 100 grand, she's in the 35% tax bracket. That's not fair. And like I say on a lot of things, don't ask for fair because fair is where pigs get slaughtered and where people go win prizes and games. Ask for equity and just. Mm. So now you got that. And now you say, okay, I'm in a business and now I want to acquire businesses. So I want to have a business that acquire business like a holding company. Or I want to have a business that acquire real estate. And then I want to leverage the tax laws to come all together. So in this webinar on October 30th, we're going to talk about all of those in that phase. First, we're going to talk about family finance 101. Then we're going to show you about working and winning as corporate America should be treating you and understand how you should be treated and then get you prepared for your transition. Because like in your business, you have multiple entities that you're going to be having a lot of employees in the future. Facts. True. So you need to understand it. It's just like GE. GE has 2,000 plus corporations under the GE parent company, NBC included, um, Maytag included. So they have the ways to structure these things. So we tell them about that in, in, in its entirety. And now we take them to the high level. And, and here's what I mean, the high level principle. We show them about investments. So there are certain people in our community that we work with that are already prepared. They got money set aside. They're sitting in getting a low return on their in, investments. And right. this, is not, this is not a sales pitch, okay? Let me preface that to the urban X community. It's not a sales pitch. This is an educational awareness pitch that if you have the resources and you don't realize there's opportunity in our community, I'm going to share with you two opportunities that are mainstream opportunities, Malcolm. Right. They're feasting in our community and we're not getting the returns. And here's what I mean. Is there any way possible in New York, you can go in Chinatown and open up a soul food restaurant, even if you get a hundred million dollars. No way. So, but why is it that there's Chinese food restaurants in your neighborhood and we don't say nothing about it? Now, I'm not trying to cast dispersion on the Chinese, but if they can come in our community and sell their specific cuisine, which I love, I know they like soul food because I have some Chinese friends that eat soul food. Why can't we go in their community, work with their chamber of commerce, their business leaders, and allow us to buy a building and run a soul food restaurant? Why can't we do that? Uh... They just won't let let it happen. Like uh, other than, I don't know. I don't. I don't know if they are using specific like loopholes to make sure that it doesn't happen. But I'm I'm not really sure. So so it's like Oprah said. You know they're doing cooperative economics. Yeah. So again, why are we doing cooperative economics when they come in our community and we own part of their business as part of the trade off to let them come in our business and we patronize their 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 practice uh, on a regular basis. Mm. Yeah. That, that's one of the challenges. So, so as, as we've been working with these 25 people uh, consistently every month, 
uh, since August. And these people have, have worked with us and what people understand, they basically enrolled into a membership uh, sample program just for three, three months. And basically they have uh, it chose to either work with us for 30 minutes a month, 45 minutes a month, an hour a month, and a couple of them took the uh, premier uh, sample package that was called the uh, All-Star Package, which gave them two hours because they were making a transition to small business, need to get entity structure. So what Melvin, uh, Paul Bax, who's our accountant, and Lisa have done with them, and myself, if we sat down with them, give them assignments, accountability, to go do stuff and bring it back to us, and then we bring them the most pertinent information after we already saved them over that 35 to 50% on the home, auto, and life. Right. Then we got them on the Pay Your First program, which I was surprised. Out of the 80 people that came through, only like 5% had even heard of an emergency fund. But here's what I'm here and glad to report to you, Malcolm, that we've got over 20 people that are doing automatic payments to their emergency fund and some start out with a minimum of at least fifty dollars. Mm. We got some that's doing three hundred, and that's amazing. And guess what? We make no money for setting them up with emergency fund. But now I feel comfortable that this person now has a fallback instead of going to the credit card. Right. They have a fallback, Malcolm, instead of going to the savings account and drawing off of that because they started an emergency fund and they signed a, a contract with us that agreement to do the emergency fund on an automatic payment from the first to the eighth of the month. One of those eight days, they have to contribute the emergency fund money. And guess what the emergency fund money came from? The savings. The savings you guys uh, helped them find. Exactly. The savings that we helped them find. So we put all their money on the table with all their budget sheets that they sent us that you'll get when you come to the webinar on October 30th, we're going to send you for the complimentary consultation. In order to get the company consultation, you have to fill out the budget sheet and the 10 questionnaire survey. Everybody did that. And then we looked at the stuff that they were spending on, found the uh, over spinaches, got them, you know, more, you know, services for less money. And we took that money and first directed towards the emergency fund. Second thing we did, Malcolm, we then directed that towards them increasing their contribution to the 401k. 403B, to their uh, single employment retirement plan or the Keo. Once that was taken care of and there was still money on the table, which and 60% of people we've been working with, Malcolm, they still had discretionary income on the table, we opened up their Roth IRA. So we haven't taken any money out of their pockets, bro. But we were able to fully fund, emergency fund, increase contribution to their 403B at, 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 the, at the employer and open up their Roth IRA. And we got a couple of them getting ready to do a custodial Roth IRA for their children. That's what we're excited about. So we, when, you, when you take that and bring it all together, now we've seen, man, this is going to knock your socks off. We got over 10 people who credit scores in 30 to 45 days have grown over 50 points apiece. Wow. 50 points man. apiece, Malcolm. That, man, dude, that's a testament to their focus and them trusting us to give them some basic tips. And here, here's what we did. We looked at this situation because I know a lot of people always talking about, hey, man, I get my credit fixed real quickly like that. And even Corey tells you, you, you can't get your credit fixed just like that. You, you have certain steps that you have to adhere to. So one of the two quick steps that we did was help them look at what their credit was, how long they had it, and then ask them to ask for an increase in their credit line. By having that increase in their credit line, what's called the four quadrants of credit, we immediately decrease their debt to credit ratio. And by decreasing their debt to credit ratio overall, that gave them an immediate bump of like five to seven, five to 10 points. Right. Then when they made a payment ahead of the payment date and kept it from accruing the interest, that gave them another five, 10 points on their credit increase scores. Then on top of that, we had three people, man, that went from 730, 740, and 750 over 800, dude. One person even hit 813 last week. I mean, you're talking about wow. amazing. And guess what? When they were able to do that, two of the people in the Urban X community qualified for significantly lower interest rates on all of their stuff, including their mortgages. 
We're right now in the process of getting two people in the urban X community, which did not know they had any inkling that they were refi candidates. They're gonna have their homes refied here in the next 35 to 60 days. One person was at 7%. We have identified that person to be able to get a rate because they went over 760 to right. 780 and they start out at about 715. They're actually identified. They're gonna be able to get a refinance at about 4.85%. Gonna save them almost $150 a month. I mean, Malcolm. Wow. And they just bought their house within the last six months. Another person who's owned their house for just under 18 months had a good rate at about 4.85. This individual eclipsed 800, and now they're qualifying for a 3.5% interest rate on a new 30 year refi, gonna save them between 100 to $125 a month. So you're talking about collectively between those two people, that's almost $300 a month which is $3,600 a year, Malcolm, but these are brand new loans because they still only one and a half years into the original loan. You're talking about 3,600 times 30. That's over $118,000 that can go directly towards their investment, their child's education, paying off debt. And by using the rule of 72, they can double that money every 10 years. So you're talking about collectively, in three decades, because that's the term of their mortgages, they're going to have a half a million dollars collectively between them in savings and investing. And these are facts, Malcolm. This ain't pie in the sky. This is literal facts, because all you have to do is take the 150, 125 each month that you're going to save and direct it towards securities, investments, pan down debt, emergency funds. That's real time money. So that will be the reason right now. If they haven't clicked on the link that you put underneath here, they click on the link just for that in and of itself. So uh, do you have any more details regarding the webinar, uh, specifically price, um, what, you, what they're going to get? For the people who've never, who, uh, who slept on the first one, who haven't been watching our videos for some odd reason, I don't know. I don't know. Absolutely. That's a great question. So yes, okay. let me uh, summarize what you're going to get in the complete webinar package. Okay. So the first thing you'll get is the webinar itself. The webinar is going to consist of teaching you 136 principles of financial success, which is going to start in the family finance encyclopedia. So this is a pamphlet that has about 40 pages in it, and it basically has subjects. So it has how to buy cars, how to buy mortgages, how to do estate planning, how to pay off your debt. And then the, my most favorite chapter is who wants to be a millionaire? You know. Take your kid's age, for example, let's say, you know, I have a son who's 15. It says he has 50 years to retirement. And if he had a 3% return on his investment, he had to put $720 aside. But by 65, he will be guaranteed a million dollars in the bank. We, we don't put that much money aside for him right now, to be honest, on a monthly basis. But if we were able to do a 6% return, Malcolm, that's $268. That's about what we do. So if he did $268, for 50 years, that guarantees him a million dollars outside of anything else he does in his life. Now, if you don't have a 6% return in this booklet, if you're able to get 12%, it's only $27, Malcolm. So this is what we're gonna teach them and they'll get this whole complete financial encyclopedia that they can keep and go and vet any professional on the planet. That's the first thing they get. The second thing that they will get is a complete financial education plan, okay? That financial education plan is a 16 page report. If you can look behind me, it'll give you uh, a rundown about your house analysis. It'll give you a rundown about retirement, right. what date, what age, how much money you need for retirement. It'll tell you about asset allocation in terms of actually picking the right you know, investments inside your 403B, your mutual funds, your individual stock. It'll tell you about family protection in terms of what the proper insurance you should have and what the proper cost of that insurance. And then most importantly, it'll give you your cash flow and your net worth. You know, your cash flow is most important for your day to day living and your net worth creates your legacy. So you'll get that 16 page financial education report. On top of that, you'll get complimentary consultation upon request with three people on our team. That's a value in and of itself, which I'll be in Alabama next week, Melvin and I doing financial education for the airport of Montgomery, uh, Alabama. We just uh, you know, signed a multi-year deal with them. That minimum is $395 per person 
to $995 for this exact same webinar. You will get this for $99.95 satisfaction guarantee. Now, I know some of the people watching this right now say, hey, DJ, you had given it to us for a little less expensive. But the one that I gave you before only was Family Finance one-on-one. Right. I'm giving you a hybrid because Malcolm, you and Black Dot said, can you add a little bit more on the back end with the you know corporation piece with the working and winning and give them a little bit insight to how we're moving in our circles and the three steps to success. So you're going to get a complete package that value from $3.95 per person on the individual side and for corporation municipalities that I've been working with for over 15 years at $995 for a small investment of $99.95. And that's exactly what you get, satisfaction guarantee. Out of those 80 plus people that came through the program, we haven't had anybody request their money back, Malcolm. Right. I think we've had something of 10, 12 different uh, testimonials that I think have been sent to you personally just to let them know how the program has been working for them. Yep. A lot of people, a lot, a lot of people have uh, you know, expressed that they got a lot of value out of what you, know, you brought to that webinar. And it was really cool, really cool. So that's, so that's exactly what they would get uh from this webinar october 30th and it's gonna be jam-packed and i got an extra guest uh coming to him as well how old are you malcolm again you just turned 26. i just turned 26 last month Congra congratulations so guess what i got a gentleman that i've been knowing for just about 10 years i knew him when he was 20. he asked me a little bit about the financial uh services industry and he actually had to be best friends of patrick patterson the nba player wow. now Fast forward nine and a half years later, almost 10 years, this gentleman, $1.1 billion portfolio. He deals with the highest net worth people in the United States of America. Wow. He's going to come on for about five, 10 minutes and share with our community how to develop the mindset of the wealthy and develop it now. Because guess what? When he was 20, he didn't have any money. Right. I helped him and Patrick out, helped them with some financial education stuff. Actually took them through a portion of the Family Finance 101 course. They liked how it worked. And then they introduced me to some people that we did some major investments with. He stayed on board. He said, I like this industry. He said, hey, DJ, can you give me some tips? And he ended up working at a company that I had done business with in 2012, 2013. And he became one of their biggest players in, in the Midwest based out of Ohio. So he's going to come in and what he's going to do for us, anybody that signs up to any of the services that we offer, he's going to give them complimentary consultation from his business team. These are people who normally charge about $1,000 per hour for their time. Wow. He'll teach you everything at a basic level from his team about how trust work, how private placements work, how you can, uh, you know, do uh, tax avoidance for generational wealth to give your heirs the money before you even pass away. He's gonna teach you a lot of sophisticated things that people who have a general uh, income of like two to $3 million a year and a net worth minimum of $5 million. As mm -hmm. a bonus, he's gonna come on and talk to us. So I would just register just for the fact to get insights from somebody that as young as he is, but is accomplished at 30 years of age, has a $1.1 billion portfolio that he manages. That's amazing. And then here's another yes. thing we're gonna, we're gonna offer to him. Cause, cause here's what I believe in, in our community. This is what I was giving an example about the Chinese restaurant. So um, you ever heard of these uh, donut stores? What, what's, the, what's the popular donut franchise you're familiar with? Uh, Dunkin' Donuts. Uh, Dunkin' Donuts for sure. Dunkin' Donuts. Let me ask you a question. Who have you seen running a Dunkin' Donuts? uh only uh only uh i guess the indian yep when you turn on the simpsons even though i don't watch the simpsons what are they always showing they showing a guy running a dunkin donut right right let me give right. you a little back backdrop the story but where are those dunkin donuts primarily where are they located primarily i guess in world is and, and, and people, you find uh, them in our community, right? I, I see them in my in our community all the time, don't you? Definitely. So, so check this out. We have a relationship 
that was developed about nine and a half years ago as well with uh, people that I work with through the bill pay business. And okay. the bill pay business is primarily dominated by, by the Indians as well. Okay. Mm. Are, you, are you still there, Malcolm? Yep. Yep. Okay. So, yeah, because you're kind of freezing on my end. Hopefully, I'm not freezing on your end. So, there's an organization called the Greater Houston Retail Association, and they are a consortium that owns pretty much 90% of all the convenience uh, gas station stores, subways, and Dunkin' Donuts. And in Chicagoland, from which I'm from, uh, there's a group that owns 640 Dunkin' Donuts, and they have been the master owners for over 20 years. Wow. We have been fortunate through our relationship, Malcolm, to actually get an opportunity to come in on two opportunities in our community. I, I, I know we talked uh, about a week or two ago, I told you I was in Detroit, Michigan, if yep. you recall. So here's what we're gonna show you that's gonna be a bonus to this webinar that this is something that I usually do not present to these type of webinars. This is something that usually is done at a much higher webinar that's usually an investment of at least $1,500. But I wanna show you guys a higher you know, view and give you a, a peek into how people in our world maneuver and make deals and create wealth. So we're gonna show our people, I don't know if you can see this. Yep. This is a one page mortgage application. We are gonna be, on November 1st, a fully chartered FDIC mortgage banker company. When I say we, that means it's going to be owned uh, primarily by us, for us, in the community, and we're starting out in five states. And I'm going to show your audience in the webinar exactly how we put that deal together how long we've been work, working on it to bring it to reality, which has been over a year. And we're gonna give them four opportunities. Number one, we're gonna provide our community with mortgages that they don't have to worry about being redlined, Malcolm. We're gonna provide them with regular mortgages, finance mortgages, home equity lines of credit. We're gonna offer them small business credit lines. We're gonna offer them construction loans. They can buy laundromats, Dunkin' Donuts, Etc. We have over $30 million in our bank. And right now, today, through the application I just showed you, we already are in business with the, the organization that allowed us to have our own charter. So I'm going to talk about that. Wow. And here's the opportunity on the business side. Now, that's the that's the, the us servicing the community side, what I just talked about. I'm also going to show with them, Malcolm, and you included, I'm going to show them an opportunity to actually become satellite owners. Now, again, this is not a sales pitch. This is right. just letting you know how we do business, okay? Because I've seen some guys in the conscious community, I'm not gonna name anybody, but they brag about, oh, I just raised 10, $15 million in 30 days, and I've put together a private REIT. Let me tell you here, I used to be a private equity manager for the largest financial service company in the world. Look them up. You can Google the largest one, it'll come up real quickly. What those people are put together are not regulated under the SEC, which is the Securities Exchange Commission, okay? We actually are gonna show you what an actual regulated investment is that's already been approved by the Security Ex Exchange Commission. So we're gonna offer opportunities to do satellite offices, we're gonna offer opportunities to be loan originators, and we're gonna offer opportunities for people to invest. I'm not looking for investors. I'm just sharing our community what we have and what we're working on. Then I'm gonna show you how real wealth is, is created. So with that group, the little Dunkin' Donuts, I can't show your name, LC, but you can see here, four stores, okay? You see that, Malcolm? Yep. Those four stores we're going to acquire for $1.8 million. As you can see, we already have a bank and everything. This is a deal, Malcolm, we've been working on for over 18 months. 
it's closing on December 15th. So I'm gonna show your audience who are at that level or thinking about how can I get in that game or how can I get affiliated by my relationships, how an actual private placement works. This is how Jay-Z had the opportunity to get a little one, one 15th of a percent of ownership in the Nets. Right. This is how Jay-Z has leveraged the relationship with the NFL. And like, um, what's, his, what's his name? Um, what's, what's, uh, what's my guy's name? He said, real bad boys move in silence. What's, what's the guy's name? Um, Are you talking about uh, Byron Allen? KRS-One, KRS-One, KRS -One, right? Okay. Oh, okay. Right. So we work like the millionaire next door, Malcolm. So I right now, the guy that I'm telling you about that manages the $1.1 billion portfolio, he's already been in conversations with me and high-level investors, and we're raising $3 million in the next 45 days, Malcolm. Wow. I'm going to show your audience how that works, how it's built, and how the importance of building relationships with other communities who are making their money out of our community. They are given a blueprint, Malcolm. Do you understand? Understand this that they are to come to so I am retransitioning those monies and we will own five to twenty percent of this four stores. We also will have the opportunity to own the land in of itself. That's wow. one point two million dollars in of itself. And I will show your group in the webinar the actual contract information. Wow. Let me ask you a question. Is there any reason why you would invest $99.95 to even get an understanding of how to get a peek into this real world of wealth? I, that, I, I, I wouldn't see a reason why not to do that. That's insane. I went to a conference at the beginning of the year, cost me almost $2,000 to get more expertise on this information that I just shared with you. But two, two day, three day weekend, you know, Friday, Saturday, come home on Sunday. Community, a peak inside here and talk to a guy who manages a billion dollar portfolio for a small investment of $99.95. And if someone in the community happens to be at your level and my level growing up, we'll have an opportunity for them to partake in some of the opportunities just to start each one teach one. And that's why I talk about how we can collectively and cooperatively as a unit of people. And we get over 100, 150 people to come to the webinar. What if each one of those people, like this conscious person, convinced them to invest $500? Let me ask you a question. Right. Do you think what I showed you is more concretely real than what that other person is talking about? Or they got the real thing because they were, you know, showing my box, 20,000 square foot homes. And then when I read the prospectus, I didn't see nothing and had no assets, but a wish, a coulda, and a promise. But right. I'm showing you actual physical assets, Malcolm. Because I'm regulated. I have a license. Melvin has a license. If that makes sense. Right, right. That's what right. I'm that's what I'm, that's what I'm excited about, my friend. That's what I'm, you know, elated about. And that's the reason why Melvin had to jump off the phone, working with other ex uh, urban X community people. I've been working around the clock. And I said, it was no way for us to put on a webinar anytime sooner than now. Right. Because you busy, I'm busy. And the urban X people are so sharp that they are clamoring for more information. Oh, oh, let me tell you this too. We've gotten five of the Urban Xers fully incorporated, man. Fully wow. incorporated, brother. We took them from zero to incorporation. They got their complete package. Let me, let me show you what I'm talking about. You're going to be excited about this. We got them their own complete package, Malcolm. They got, they, all of them got a package that looks like this. And I don't get any remunerations for any companies whatsoever in this regard. Share that disclaimer with everybody. But we took some professionals, got them a guide to corporation. And, and I'm just opening this up to show people what this guide says in general. These are things you should know when you're building a corporation. It says you should review your corporate tax options with an accountant, Malcolm. 
with an accountant. Right. It's to get advice from a business advisor. That, that's what this corporation guy says, Malcolm. Now, there's people in our community that I know personally that are making forty, fifty, hundred thousand dollars a month. Don't even have the proper corporate structure. It also says you're gonna love this one because this is one that you and I talked about. Can, can, can you read that top that top one on this page right here? Uh, uh, register your corporation's trademarks. Remember, you and I talked about that. We did we? Did you, you, you know what? You can go out of business just because of that. Yeah. So. The first thing we made them get in their package was this guide to how to run a corporation if you're going to run a, a corporate. So really, those three complimentary consultations are from the key professionals you should talk with if you're talking about even making, on a regular basis, $100,000 a year. Right. We got of them incorporated, Malcolm, and... We got them their articles of incorporation, their certificates, that if they're running an LLC and you may one day have an investor, like we're doing this private placement, we're going to be giving out actual stock certificates. Wow. So they got this complete package. Malcolm, I made not one penny on this, bro. One penny. But it's just like the emergency fund. We got five of them incorporated, and we're in the process of getting two more as we speak incorporated. And we just went and did our research. I used to do corporations for people back when I first started my practice, but I just now just, you know, I just find them the best company to work with. So I don't give out recommendations into the one-on-one, but I'm excited about that because they now have stepped into ownership and they're doing the things like you are to actually make sure that they can grow. And then they have that three year window to get everything right. Right. Which the IRS affords you to make mistakes because they know if this is your first time doing it, and you're not working at a multinational company or a Fortune 1000, 5000 company, you're going to have some learning curve. And you're going to have to fill your team in. So at the end of the day, the seven spheres of money comes into play for them, Malcolm. And we're also going to give them a digital copy of this as a bonus because the holidays are coming up. Cool. <laughs> so the seven spheres of money, I'm throwing it all in for, for, the, for, the, for the community because I want to give my gratitude and thanks to your dad, the Black Dot, and you, Malcolm, like you said, when I reached out to you over a year ago now, and you had the you know, courage to you know, vet me and see if we were the real deal and open up the doors to the community. And I want to tell people that the seven spheres of money is real simple. It's accounting, it's banking, it's real estate, it's financial planning, it's estate planning, it's legal, and it's small business planning. So at some point in time, the people that are watching this video their lives are intersecting with one of those spheres of money constantly until the day they die. That's what we're excited about. That's the reason why our 30th is going to be off the chain. And yeah. if you don't realize that that's something that you should do, then maybe having financial independence and having transgenerational wealth, or better yet, Malcolm, sustaining the lifestyle you currently got right now is important to you. Mm. A lot of people, uh, they, they they talk it, but when it comes down to it, they, they have to make a decision, and the decision is right now, you know what I'm saying, to, to live it. So um, give them all your information, So and we'll have some of the information in the description below. Uh, me and my pops will talk about this more on the podcast as well, and yeah. Yeah, oh man, awesome. Yeah, well, just signing off. Uh, they can reach us, uh, one eight. 66-395-3042. That's our toll-free 24-hour 365 number. Again, that's one 866 395 They can email us, Malcolm, at info, I-N-F-O, at D-E-R-A-N-S-B-U-R-G dot com. That's info at D-E-R-A-N-S-B-U-R-G dot com. And they can also catch us on our website at triple W, the number seven, sphere, and they can actually click like you've done in the past on the links below we'll have the special uh price for the uh urban x community and then they can also reach mount i mean uh, melvin if they want to ask some financial questions pertaining to securities right away you can reach melvin hobson at m-e-l-v-i-n 
dot h o b s o n at gmail.com. So that's Melvin dot Hobson. I'm sorry, 97, the number 97 at gmail.com. Okay. And you can also reach him at the one 395 3042 number as well. So, okay. hey, man, I'm excited. Uh, I'm so uh, proud of the Urban X community people who came out the first time. Uh, and I'm so excited for the ones that are going to come out on October 30th. And, man, we just want them to uh, use the resources that you are bringing to them and be uh, diligent in the usage of the resources because the holiday is coming up and they're going to be shoving Black Friday down our throat, Malcolm. Yeah. And the best thing you can do for your family is it buy yourself a gift and invest in this webinar for your pre-Black Fr Friday celebration. And I want them to have a pom-pom lifestyle that's plenty of money, peace of mind. And like you and I do, Malcolm, hey, let's travel around the world on the beaches of the World Club. With that, with that being said, uh, on behalf of DJ and Money Coach, I'm Malcolm. Thank you again for watching. Peace. Peace.